of their actions. Some do, and most don't, you know? Come on, pussy. Oh shit, I'm on air. At this point, it's just fucking normal for people, I guess. To not but know what, how to control their anger. Throwing up port, you should be oh, my fucking oh, my not angered. Hey, Ma. Hey, baby. Um, you have an engineering project or something that was due today, and since you didn't go to school, did you get it? Engineering, a pre-engineering thing? Yeah. Did it say scratch at all? Yes. Oh, I think I finished that already. It's just I might need to like, go downstairs and like email my teacher that I did it. Yeah, can you please do that now? All right, bye. Thank you. I learned how to reason with my mom. It's just when my dad's there, it's maybe more difficult. I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. I don't understand how people would deal with this. Growing up poor is not an excuse of everything. It's building your path to become stronger. Being ungrateful, on the other hand, that's too much of a stoop. If you're going to blame someone, blame yourself for even wanting to be a parent. Not that I care about anything. That's why I'm not gonna have kids. I don't plan on dating anyone. I don't really care about love and all that bullshit. I think people are just fucked up in the head. Whatever that shit happens. It's just annoys me that people like that still exist in this fucking age <clears throat> not many things not many ways anger should be used as a tool not a weapon and that's what his father is using as a weapon huh. quite fucking interesting a fucking grown man using anger as a fucking weapon. Can't control themselves. Undisciplined, unfit, untrained. For anything that is actually required. Just let your anger go. I ain't much to say. Can't be angry all your fucking life. At some point, you just have, to, just have to give up. Not only that, that's how you get your children to hate you and spite you. Keep being rough. Keep hurting them. Even if they don't fucking feel it. They can still feel the physical. Putting a lot of stress on someone is another thing. His father does that. That's what I'm guessing. Hmm. It's quite fucking interesting. Why put stress on a kid when they're trying their hardest? That's really something. That teacher of his fucked his whole life up. Not in a good way, in a bad way. Because that creature is not reasonable <laughs> unfit for reasoning all because he broke or doesn't justify anything you're just trying to get fucking dog shit out of it trying to make excuses nothing is an excuse everything is an excuse in a way I just don't understand people that much I despise people like that. I use anger for bad reasons, hurting their kid. 
even though I hunger before at least I just don't care anymore anger is not resolve anger is a tool it can be forged into the fires into a weapon which his father is using I want to break things that he wasn't uh, able to get he doesn't know because he hasn't even fucking tried himself. He doesn't believe that's on him. Not many people believe anymore. It's not all about anyone. Not about his father either, not about anyone. Their life is theirs to control. This whole person's life is the sole person's control of theirs. Parents can't control that. If they want to protect them, who am I kidding? Teachers don't care. They only care about money. Most of them at least only care about money. Some of them are, don't care about money. They care about kids. They care about teaching them. The rest only care about fucking money. They're all thanks. School I went to is full of fakes. Except for the high school I went to. Which only had a couple of teachers that I would say that cared about kids. Along with one of my middle school teachers that did care about kids. The rest just fucking cared about money. Doesn't even matter anymore. We all die eventually. And yet, people use anger as a weapon still. What's is shocking to be saying the least. Even though he can't fucking feel pain that much, he's still fucking feel it inside. That stress builds up, driving the kid insane. Despite the parents. And two, not want to see him ever again, I would say. There's nothing I can do. Except hope that he lives on and stays on the right path. Now, there's not much for me to do. Not much for me to say. There's not much to see at all anymore. The more corrupt people get, the less reasonable they will become. I despise people that use that. That's all I wanted to say. Just keep tabs on your old mans. Don't trust any of them. Some are reasonable. Most are not. They're like his at least.